Antibodies are the way that the body fights infection. Antibody testing is probably the number one thing in the news with relationship to coronavirus. And I guess the question people are curious about and excited about is whether it might represent um, some sort of immunity. Now, we're not saying yet that if you have antibodies that you are immune. Nobody knows that yet. We are hopeful that if somebody has been exposed to the virus, that they will mount an antibody response and that will reduce their future risk. But we need to start measuring these to see how many people have already got them. The only way to get the answers to that is to implement rapid research and learning. Now to do this on a large number of people is a big exercise. So there's a number of things going on. I think within the Trust there's a programme now starting to roll out testing for staff and there are huge numbers of people being tested at the moment. The Trust has worked really hard with colleagues in North West London Pathology and also our laboratory, our university laboratory within Imperial College uh, to develop a real gold standard antibody test. So this is a blood test. So we feel really confident that staff who have one of the antibody tests that we're offering will get really the best possible sight of whether they have antibodies to SARS-CoV-2 or not. And what that tells us is really whether they've been exposed to the virus before or not. And then there's a lot of interest in what we might be able to do with these tests in the community at scale. And we're involved in a project with the government trying to look at using these tests in large numbers of people in the community. REACT2 study is about measuring how many people in England have already had exposure to the virus that causes COVID-19. So we're measuring antibodies in the blood. There's several bits of the study, but the main one is we are going out to around 100,000 people, randomly selected adults, so over 18s, in England. And rather than get them to go to a testing centre, we are making use of the fact there are tests where people can test themselves with a, a finger prick. Finger prick testing is, again, trying to find antibodies in the blood, but just using a finger prick sample. And this means it's possible for people to do this themselves, potentially in their own home. The interesting thing about the study will be it will show us for the first time across the whole country what proportion of people have developed antibodies. That will help to guide more tailored and targeted preventive interventions locally. But the key thing to understand about these tests is that their reliability is not quite as good as that for the blood tests. So we, we still can't be sure that someone who's definitely had infection will have a positive test. And if their test is positive, we can't be as sure that that means they've got an antibody. Because people are doing their own test, it's a self-test, they will see the result. But we are very clear to people, this should not be used to change their own behaviour. The tests are quite good, but they're not 100% accurate. And therefore, they shouldn't be used to say, I've definitely had COVID-19 or I've definitely not had it. And certainly, it shouldn't be used as proof of any kind of immunity. This work is so important because the extraordinary thing about coronavirus is in January of this year we knew absolutely nothing about it. It gets called novel, novel meaning new. We had no idea about what this virus was, what the disease that it causes was about and how we might even consider going about treating it. Everybody wants to help because they see the impact of this disease on the population and they really want to do everything they can to help us get it under control. So the public have been amazing. Within the college there's still work going on trying to improve our antibody tests and one of the big challenges we've got now is to try and develop a, a test that can work on saliva uh, and that would obviously really help in terms of screening in the community. Uh, it would make testing for antibodies much more accessible to people. We need to keep finding these sorts of ways because our best chance of coming up with the answers for our staff, for our patients and for our wider country is to work together with NHS and university working in partnership. <laughs>